Hi, Tassi. So I'm going to try and answer your question. We are looking to find out how many households are within 1.5 kilometers of our functioning wells. So I want to add the functioning wells to start off with. So it's a delimited text layer. It's CSV that you sent me. So I'm going to go to the place that I saved it to, which was in tables, analyzing water wells. There it is there. Okay, everything's coming in right. It's using longitude and latitude. That's fine. Okay, add that and close. Okay, so we have a number of wells which are sitting outside of our study area. So I want to not select those. I want to select only those wells that are inside of our studying area, study area. So I'm going to use the vector menu research tools and I'm going to select by location. So I want to select everything that intersects with the Burundi boundary. So select by location, select from the Amazi water wells by comparing them to the Burundi boundary where they intersect, create a new selection. And close. Okay, so now all the yellow ones do intersect. Now I want to export those. So export saved selected features as. And I've got a geo package that I've created for this project. I called it household count. And these are going to be called wells. Uh, selected. I want the CRS to be UTM Zone 35 South so I can run that buffer, save only selected features and OK. So that should create a new layer as a geo package in my geo package as a table in the geo package. Now you can you could export that as a shape file if you want. Um, me using it as a geo package doesn't affect how this query runs, it's the same. So you c if you want to save it as a shape file you can. Okay, so now we've only got the, f the wells, but we want the functioning wells in particular. So we're going to filter out using the column that you have in that uh, uh, CSV called status. So status equal to working. Okay, so we're if, the, if the value is null, it's going to be excluded from the selection or this filter. And you see a couple dropped off there. Let's just change this color slightly. Go for a blue. Looks more like a a color you'd use for wells. Okay. Uh, okay. So oh. now we have that as a, a layer which is a layer we can buffer in meters. So now what we'll do is we'll buffer and we'll buffer that layer by one and a half kilometers. Segments can be five because it can also be ten and it's going to be a temporary layer so we can run that and close. Okay so now there's our buffered layer and let's open up this buffered layer because what we want to do is I want to create a column for this buffered layer and it's a temporary layer so I, I don't like creating uh, layers unnecessarily so I'll very often create a temporary layer now I see there's already people in the colleen we've already got two columns here so households within 1.5 kilometers and number of people Okay, so you, I see you already have those two columns. So let's just rework it so that I can show you how to do it and see if see how close it is to these values. So I'm going to create a new column, and I'll just call it household count. Count. Okay. And then I'll close that down. I'm going to save the edits. Now remember, this is a temporary layer for me. I'm just calculating the household. So if you want this to be a permanent layer you can make it permanent. Um, but what I'm going to do at the end of this, end of this is just export it as a, as a Excel spreadsheet. So my, my output is going to be an Excel spreadsheet. But whatever you want to use, you use. Okay, so these are the buffered wells. So what I want to do is I want to count. Okay, so I've made sure that my layer I want to count um, points inside is selected. I type in count down here. I get count points in a polygon. Now the layer I want to count is the number of households and using that new field we've just created which is called household count and then modify all features. What this will do is then calculate those households in that new column. So if a household intersects it will uh, create it. Now because there are overlaps uh, houses will be counted twice. So all these households that are in here will be counted twice. Actually you counted three times because you probably find there's there's one there, one there, one there. Okay, so that is something to bear in mind. So this particular calculation is going to be for um, each individual well. 
okay even though these people live within 1.5 kilometers of in this instance three wells okay so we'll bear that in mind and we'll come back to that and we'll use a dissolve to calculate the number of um, the total uh, not specifically per well but for people served within a distance of 1.5 kilometers of a well okay so let's go and and see what that attribute table looks like here we go household count but obviously if we want that to be people we'll just create a new column and people served I'm just creating an alias here people served okay all right so we just multiply that by five so I'm going to use the field calculator update the existing field people which we have just created and the equation to update that is obviously going to be number of households multiplied by mm. the people per household which we are currently using five I believe okay and then it calc calculates that and let's have a look how does that compare to the values that were already there okay most of them look the same to be honest except for this one number of households okay so there are there's a slight difference but that's how you calculate those those two new columns now we can save those edits and then we can export that as a shape file uh, sorry as a C as a, an excel spreadsheet so i'm going to deselect all of those what i want to do is just right click and i'm going to say export save features as and then excel spreadsheet i'll put it in the same folder um, and what should I call it? Um, people serve per working well. Save. CRS doesn't matter because it's a, it's an Excel spreadsheet that's going to come out, and it will add it to the project. And we can just let it add it to the project just to double check that it came out correctly okay so there we go that's how you do that now you m you mentioned when we were discussing this that there's a potential issue in that we have uh, households counted twice so that's quite simple what we can do is we can buffer uh, we're going to buffer that layer so buffer that same um, wells layer which has been filtered per working wells so we're going to buffer ah sorry that one just make sure we choose buffer okay so that one again same distance segments can be the same only difference now is we're going to ask for a dissolved result we'll create a temporary layer again okay so now what happens is this is considered as as one polygon um, but it's actually a multi polygon all of these polygons are included so if we want to calculate out of all the Amazi water wells that are functioning, how many people are served? It's quite easy. We can um, we can calculate or count points in a polygon as well. So let's open up this attribute table, start editing, and what we'll do is we'll do the same thing. So I'm going to I'm just going to clean this up a bit, delete these three columns, create another column, call it household count and then another one we'll call it people served okay there we go stop editing save that we're going to run the count count points in a polygon okay so points we want to count uh, it's households count field is household count modify feature this shouldn't take too long close that if we open up the attribute table we'll see we've got a new value uh, 219,780 708 
and use the field calculator again just to multiply that value oops so we're updating the people the people column that we've just created and we are going to update it with the households multiplied by five people per household okay gives us a total number of one million ninety eight thousand five hundred and forty people living within one point five kilometers of any Amazi functioning Amazi water well. Okay, so that is the total number of people uh, served by functioning wells. Bearing in mind, of course, that in this instance uh, there are three wells in this area and a household could be covered three times. So now that is another query. If you want to go through that, that's another query. I'll need to think about that. So just just if this is the result you're looking for, that's fantastic. Let me know. If you're looking for more um, information, if you want to separate these out per well, that's going to require a bit more thought. And let me know if that is what you want, and I can see what kind of solution we can, we can come up with for that. Otherwise, good luck. Let me know how it goes.